Greetings of peace and good health, everyone. I am Dante M. Saling, Master Teacher 1 of Pulomulok Elementary School, Division of Sultan Kudarat, and a Doctor of Education major in Educational Management and Leadership student of Sultan Kudarat State University, Takorong City, Philippines. And today, I am very excited to present to you my study entitled Efficiency of Teleconferencing, a Communication Modality in the New Normal Education under Low Internet Spot Areas. Loading, please wait. No internet connection are what teachers really experience during call meeting, Zoom, Google Meet, sending and receiving files or documents, and or teleconferencing in general. One of the most apparent advantages of teleconferencing in education is remote or distance learning where students and teachers can no longer have to feel confined to their classrooms. With teleconferencing, they can interact with experts, teachers, students from other schools, and visit places they have never visited at the push of a button. Thus, the study was made to at least could suggest that concerned authorities like DepEd, LGU, NGO, and other stakeholders will ensure that schools considered as dead spot areas are adequately funded to aid internet connectivity maintenance provision of alternative source of power supply, and to ensure that the teleconferencing facility is periodically maintained so as to increase its efficiency considering the ages, the distance, location of the schools, and the kind of technology used. For the statement of the problem, this study aimed to answer the following questions. What is the socio-demographic profile of the respondents in terms of position or designation, gender, number of years in service, educational attainment, distance from home to school, and monthly family income? What is the level of usability of teleconferencing as communication modality in terms of medium use, exposures, deployment of lessons? What are the circumstances of teachers of teleconferencing in the new normal under low internet spot areas? What are the perceived benefits of teachers' use of teleconferencing in the new normal education under low internet spot areas? And is there a significant relationship between teachers' socio-demographic characteristics and teachers' level of usability of teleconferencing as a communication modality in new normal education under low internet spot areas? This study hypothesized that there is no significant relationship between respondent socio-demographic characteristics and levels of usability of teachers' use of teleconferencing. For the conceptual framework, this would like to know the relationship of the use of teleconferencing as communication modality in the new normal education under low internet spot areas as independent variable to the respondent socio-demographic characteristics such as uh, position, designation, gender, number of years in service, educational attainment, distance from home to school, monthly family income, levels of usability of teleconferencing in terms of availability of facilities or medium use, exposures, deployment of lessons, circumstances of using teleconferencing, and perceived benefits of teleconferencing as the dependent variable. Research methodology. This study utilized a descriptive correlational research designed to 130 teachers using a complete enumeration sampling technique. For the research instrument, the researchers utilized the survey questionnaires from the literature review and tested it with content validity and reliability. The questionnaire was given to the respondents by the help of the school ICT coordinator. Moreover, it contained a four parts. Part one includes the indicators about respondents' demographic characteristics. Part two includes statement on the levels of usability of teleconferencing as to the medium used, exposure, and deployment of lesson. Part three includes 10 statements describing the circumstances of using teleconferencing and part four includes 10 statements about the perceived benefits of teleconferencing among the respondents. Likert scale in determining the teacher's level of usability in teleconferencing was done 
by checking the appropriate box with corresponding verbal descriptions and interpretation as follows. 1.00 to 1.80, never, with an interpretation of hardly used. 1.81 to 2.60, seldom, seldom used. 2.61 to 3.40, sometimes, with an interpretation of occasionally used. 3.41 to 4.20, a verbal description of often with an interpretation of frequently used, and 4.21 to 5.00, a description of always or interpreted as extremely used. Another Likert scale in determining the teacher's circumstances and perceived benefits of teleconferencing was made by checking also the appropriate boxes with corresponding verbal descriptions and interpretation as follow. 1.00 to 1.80, strongly disagree, never felt. 1.81 to 2.60, disagree with an interpretation of seldom felt. 2.61 to 3.40, described as undecided with an interpretation of occasionally felt. 3.41 to 4.20, described as agree with an interpretation of frequently felt and 4.21 to 5.00 with a verbal description of strongly agree and interpreted as extremely felt. As to the statistical tools used, frequency counts, percentage, mean or grand mean, and person product moment correlation or PPMC person R was utilized. Results and discussion of findings. As to the sociodemographic characteristics of the respondents, Majority of the teachers were from teachers 1 to 3, more than half were female, rendering services from 6 to 10 years. Their level of educational background varied from master's unit to doctorate degree holder, had to travel between 1 to 5 kilometers from home to school, and have an average monthly family income of 10,000 pesos. The level of teachers' use of teleconferencing in terms of medium use shows that video conferencing like Facebook and Messenger has a highest mean of 4.28, described as always with an interpretation of extremely used. However, they find it sometimes or moderately used in the indicator audio conferencing via radio and recording with the lowest mean of 2.63. A grand mean of 3.44 described the medium used level with a verbal description of often and interpretation of frequently used. The level of teachers' use of teleconferencing under exposures, it shows that indicator increases teachers' interest for participation and collaboration has a highest mean of 4.19 followed by can learn and interact with experts across distance learning with a mean of 4.07 and a lowest mean of 3.52 useful for promoting collaborate, collaboration rather between students and teachers which were described as often with an interpretation of frequently used. As to the level of teachers use of teleconferencing in terms of deployment of lesson, Indicator 6, or coordinate with stakeholders like BLGU, parents, volunteers in delivering modules, shows a highest mean of 4.44 with a description of always with an interpretation of ex extremely used. The indicator assess any risk associated with delivering lessons in new normal has a lowest mean of 3.48, which was described as often with an interpretation of frequently used. A grand mean of 3.47 described as often in all indicators on deployment of lesson. The circumstances of teachers' use of teleconferencing indicator number six, frequent network failure, has a highest mean of 4.44, a description of so strongly agree with an interpretation of extremely felt. Other indicators were described as agree, such as limited network resources causing disconnection with a mean of 4.15. Teachers need more time training in ICT and inter internet integration with a mean of 4.01. And most schools have lack computer literate teachers. 
thus gave an overall mean of 3.97 with an interpretation of extremely high. As to the perceived benefits of teachers' use of teleconferencing, indicator three and indicators three and one saves time and money by reducing travel and helps teachers to reach out to colleagues in other schools, thereby eliminating professional isolation and loneliness, she has a highest mean of 4.39 and 4.31, which were both described as strongly agree with an interpretation of extremely felt. A lowest mean of 3.61 have shown by indicator number 4 or it offers opportunity to get public reaction to issues as they arose and described as agree with an interpretation of frequently felt. A grand mean of 3.97 simply described the perceived benefits of teleconferencing in the new normal education under low internet spot areas as agree which were frequently felt by the respondents. As to the relationship between teachers' sociodemographic characteristics and teachers' level of usability of teleconferencing, the summary of the statistical treatment of the variable shows the sociodemographic characteristics X and usability of teleconferencing Y has a negligible or very low linear relationship with correlation coefficient R of negative 0 0.13. Since there was a linear relationship between the variable, hypothesis testing was conducted to find out the significance of the correlation coefficient. The level of significance alpha equals 0 0.05 was used to determine the critical value at 1.98 from the degree of freedom and minus 2 in the T distribution table. The computed T test value of negative 1.50 falls within the acceptance region which signifies that the null hypothesis must be accepted and therefore means that there is no significant relationship between the sociodemographic characteristics X and usability of teleconferencing Y. As to the conclusion, women held most of the teachers' respondents in the identified schools and were between teacher 1 to 3, rendered services from 5 to 15 years, possesses the basic qualification of master's degree for the position, ranging from one to five kilometers away from their home to school, and about half of them have less than 10,000 monthly family income. Teleconferencing levels of teachers' use were triggered by medium use, exposures, and deployment of lessons was described as often since the level of effect on teachers was frequently used. Respondents' feedback on different circumstances of teachers' use of teleconferencing in the new normal education expressed that frequent network failures really affect their teleconferencing use. Most of the teachers say that teleconferencing reduces time travel and money and will help teachers to reach out to colleagues in school, thereby eliminating professional isolation and loneliness. The result of the person-product-moment correlation to test the significance of the simple linear correlation coefficient R shows a weak relationship or weak linear relationship between two variables at alpha equals 0 0.05 levels of significance, therefore the null hypothesis is accepted and further explained that there is no significant relationship between sociodemographic characteristics and usability of teleconferencing. As to the recommendation, it is in need to consider the teacher's sociodemographic characteristics like educational qualification, position, and distance from home to school in choosing the type of conferences used. Concerned authorities ensure that schools are adequately funded to aid internet connectivity maintenance, provision of alternative source of power supply, and to ensure that the teleconferencing facility is periodically maintained so as to increase its efficiency. Teachers really need to increase their personal competency with teleconferencing and other digital technologies by exploiting professional development opportunities and self-study provided by the technologies themselves to enhance personal productivity in performing instructional, professional, and administrative. Emphasis be made on policies that will promote the use of teleconferencing by teachers in lowland and far-flung areas for instructional effectiveness. Similar study can be made to the teachers of public and private school, but elementary and secondary schools to empirically examine if significant relationship exists in the dimensions of teachers' socio-demographic characteristics and teleconferencing exposures, deployment of lessons, and others. As to my references are the following. Thank you for listening.